For today's video, we will be talking about how to form epoxides. So we will start with an alkene, and our reagent will be MCPBA. This will form in a cyclic ring um, for oxygen. These carbons will be attached to this oxygen on both of them. Let's do another example here. We'll start with an alkene. Okay, we have the structure right here, and it will be reacting with MCPBA again. Okay. And so this, we would form a cyclic ring um, of having an oxygen. As you can see, I drew a wedge um, for this. And this is our final product. Let's do another example here. We have an alkene, but this is a cis. We have MCPBA, okay? So then our ox uh, uh, epoxy will form like this, on this, and we have draw, draw the wedge on the other carbons on the side, okay? You can also uh, draw as dash, but I'm drawing as a wedge here. Again, this is a cis formation, okay? Meaning the hydrogen are on the same side. <clears throat> now this is the bottom portion that I drew is the transversion, okay? MCPBA again reactant and the formation would be look like this. Oxygen like this. We have a one wedge and we have another dash here, like this, for the carbons. Again, this is trans because of the hydrogen on different sides. Another example here, we start with an alkene, but this time we won't use MCPBA. Let's use bromine 2 H2O, this is halohydrin, right? Our product will look like this. Okay, anti addition, bromine on wedge, OH on dash. But now if we react this with NaOH, right, we would have a final product of having a cyclic ring forming a ring for that oxygen. Here I have a dash. Stereochemistry involved, okay, plus the other half would be the wedge. And so our final product will look like this for these two. So both of these are the answer for this. Let's do the mechanism for this. We have an alkene, okay. We do the bromine one for our last problem, okay. Bromine here, okay. There's many ways to show the mechanism for this. I'll show the fast way. The alkene goes and attacks the bromine. Expels the other bromine. First bromine lone pair attacks the carbon on the st structure. So three arrows. It forms a ring bromine with a positive positive charge. The OH comes in as a solvent. Attacks one of the carbons. Kicks off the electron to bromine. This forms a product of having OH water with a positively charged positive charge with bromine on the other side. Water comes again. Deprotonates that positive charge. Gives off the electrons to oxygen. We have a final product of wedge on bromine and dash on the OH. Okay. With anti addition. Okay. Now we have the NaOH comes in as our as, uh, other re uh, reagent. Okay. OH with a negatively charged comes in, grabs the hydrogen, kicks it off electrons to oxygen. Now we have bromine on the wedge. Oxygen has a negative charge, so this attacks now the carbon where the bromine is on and kicks off the bromine like this, giving a final product of forming a cyclic ring. Okay, I'm gonna draw a dash on this plus our byproduct that we made bromine with a negative charge. And this is how you do the mechanism for this.